Today, Horasis announced the uh, award winners for the Arab Business Leaders of the Year, and it's a tradition at the Global Arab Business Meeting to select um, outstanding Arab business leaders who excel in entrepreneurship, leadership, and innovation. And I'm very glad uh, to welcome the award winners today. It's um, Mr. Abdullah Bahab uh, Al Mari, the CEO and founder of Saudi, Saudi Geophysical, based in Saudi Arabia. And it's my great pleasure also to welcome Mr. Ahmed Abdullah Tamash, the CEO of uh, Gulf Cement, uh, based here in Ras Al Khaimah. And both have been building two great companies uh, in the last years, of course, with our own vision uh, of entrepreneurship and leadership. Let me ask uh, both of you, if I may, uh, just um, a few questions on about uh, your own vision uh, on building those companies, on the start when you um, build those companies, about your own personal entrepreneurial story. Maybe let me ask you, um, Abdullah Wahab, about uh, your entrepreneurial experience. Yeah, well, uh, it is an uh, uh, opportunity for me uh, to attend this evening and I thank you for the award. Uh, the, thing, uh, the idea came to me uh, uh, before the 1998 to start my own business, uh, to fill up the gap of unspecialized companies, uh, local companies for in our field for oil exploration, environmental work and uh, groundwater exploration. So I started it in 1998. And thanks to God, it's been growing now. In 2008, 2009, and 2010, we have been ranked as one of the fastest growth companies in Saudi Arabia, uh, taking the rank of 36, next year 37. Uh, last year, we are uh, 35 in Saudi Arabia. So a fantastic uh, growth story. Uh, uh, Ahmed Abdullah, what about your own um, opinion experience? And assuming assuming if, uh, the, develop, the big development which has came in UAE from 90 to 2010, if this cement brought um, brought from outside, how the cost will be? Yes. You see, how the time of the development will be? Then, since this is our cement we are have here, and the quality is the best, at that time we're using this for our country to do, to to achieve the, the maximum development in shorter time and the minimum cost. Now, when the, the development here less or at least low, now we are ready to export. Yes. Now we are valid, we are fixable, fixable, fixable. We have fixable flexibility to working in or out yes then yes. we have good quality we have minimum price we have good facilities to load in in maximum time because you see the facilities in the boards is also very important handling and loading it is now we are achieving maximum we are loading 20,000 ton per day which is maximum in the world so management strategy has to do a lot of this uh, adaptation uh, to new circumstances and of course combining the local and the global. Would you uh, agree, Abdullah Wahab? Of course, your company uh, is very much engaged in the whole uh, Gulf countries uh, and even uh, beyond uh, the Gulf countries, uh, as you also have operations in Egypt, uh, North Africa, Levante, and so on. So, um, uh, what is the secret? What is uh, the difference between, let's say, the Arab leadership style and the typical mainstream Western style of um, leading companies? Okay, um, I would say it's, uh, the confidence. Uh, once you have the, your confidence in yourself and the services that you're provided and that you can provide the similar uh, services that uh, Western uh, companies, they can provide it, I think and then you can compete with them and go ahead. The key there on the Western, uh, they are very confident. You can see them wherever you go in the world. And I went to Africa, you see all the Western companies are there, but you don't see any Arab uh, companies are there because of the confidence. So confidence is important. If you um, would like to give a message uh, to young entrepreneurs um, uh, and say, you know, what should be the most important priorities for building global companies of Arab origin, what would be your recommendation? I, I would say in, in the beginning, you have to be confident of yourself. If not, you should not start your own business. If you are confident, you know what you are doing, build uh, uh, build a, a real company, structure for the company, commitment, and you have to be honest and straightforward. Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, I think confidence for me, it is in two parts. Confidence for me, I have to work and don't think about the result, yes. maximum work. And I have to know what the other want, to do how, how they are want. So if it's I very want, important, yes. yes. Yeah. If, I, if I know how I work, and how I work for them, for others, then I will be 100% will achieve what I want. So to put yourself into the shoes of your clients, customers, and of course society at large, because business also have a 
something to give back to society. So I would like to again uh, congratulate uh, both of you. I think uh, you are great um, symbols um, um, of uh, entrepreneurship here in the region and uh, of course role models uh, for the young entrepreneurs. So congratulations and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. If you allow for me, I want to open, I uh, invite everybody if they want to come and visit and exchange with us our experience. We are ready and Thank we you. invite everybody. Thank you so much. We will definitely uh, uh, take on the invitation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.